Viva la protein. Viva la protein. Viva, oh, viva la protein. Ah! <laughs> Hello and welcome to the video. Today's video is going to be a little different from the regular fitness challenges and weekly health and wellness experiments and diets I do. Today I'm just going to give you a quick product review on the Vivo Life Protein range. If you're vegan or looking at being vegan, which I'm guessing if you're watching this video you probably are, the big old question will be where do I get my protein from? And that's the, the question that plagues all people new to veganism. It was something I worried about, I know for sure. Protein supplements were definitely a big issue for me when I made the transition about five years ago. When I did make the transition, I did realize very quickly that the protein selection for vegans was very limited or very poor. They were very grainy, they were a required taste. It actually put me off having protein supplements for a long time. I was actually in Canada at the time, and I was watching lots of vegan youtubers I was watching Simnet Nutrition and Brian Turner and they were all using Viva Life which if you don't know anything about Viva Life they're a very ethical and amazing company really they thrive on producing the best quality products they can I'm not affiliated with them I'm just telling you how I feel about them as a company not the actual product here yeah they don't use artificial sweeteners um, all these kind of other things that protein powders rely on to make themselves delicious and tasty and cheap they eliminate from their products they're also ethical as in the packaging is all completely compostable and recyclable so they don't produce waste they even have compostable scoops which I do have but I could not find yeah every time you order from Viva Life as well they plant a tree which is pretty amazing as well so every order equals one tree yeah they're a really nice company kind of like Huel who I've reviewed before and you kind of get the feeling that the company actually cares there are a few vegan companies I believe don't want to name any names but are more about just making profit and that's absolutely fine like business is business most companies main objective is just to make money but it seems like the Viva Life actually want to give back and like create a community like for example when you sign up to Viva Life this guy Josh will send you weekly emails and they're not just like selling you stuff or supplements like that it'll be like one I got today was like a gratitude practice, which is real nice. So it's like you you check your emails and you got like a five minute gratitude practice or they'll send you recipes and stuff like that. Like recently I got sent a seasonal autumn recipe book and I'll be completely honest, I've never used these before, but because I decided to make this video, I thought I'd give one a try. So I did make the, the cinnamon spiced latte. I'm sipping on it now. I don't think I did it completely correctly because I'm not big <laughs> into making coffee, but it is delicious nonetheless. Mm. So yeah, the company wise, I think they're what they do is amazing. But yeah, they've got several proteins out and I've just actually got back to the UK a couple of months ago and I thought, you know what? I'm gonna try all these proteins. So yeah, I've got all of them. And I thought it'd probably be useful to tell you what I think, my opinion, because there's three different types. So yeah, let's go. First one is the cheapest one and actually my favorite one. And it is Ritual Protein. This one is crazy when you read the ingredients because it only has three types of protein in it. It has pea, hemp, and quinoa protein. And then like a few other ingredients, it has cocoa powder and natural flavorings, pink Himalayan sea salt, sweetener and stevia extract if you look on the back of a regular protein powder they will have le legit like it'll look like a biopsy of ingredients and you won't be able to even like recognize half of them so yeah that's really incredible and yeah completely soy free gluten free non-gmo all the kind of stuff i was saying before i think this is the big thing i why i like vivo life as I was saying before when i first went vegan i actually kind of stopped taking protein because i realized protein powders and supplements aren't actually good for you and you can get everything you need from just eating a whole plant-based diet. I feel like Viva Life actually is good for you because what they use in the ingredients and it's a good way to supplement different proteins, fermented foods, vitamins, minerals. As the list goes up, you'll see the more things you get from the supplements. This one is definitely my favorite. Um, it doesn't have any extra vitamins or anything like that. It's just 20 grams of protein, three different types of protein. Got the dark chocolate one, 
absolutely delicious. I don't actually, I'm a bit, I don't know if this is a weirdo, I don't actually drink protein shakes with water because I think that's probably the most disgusting way to drink them. I don't believe in like the anabolic window, like maybe if you're Eddie Hall and you're training for like serious strength or a serious athlete, then yeah, you'll need to get some protein like 20 minutes after you finished your weight workout, but just average Joe's who's probably watching this video, it doesn't make any difference. So I'd rather take the time, get home, make it into a smoothie bowl, into a smoothie. I add this to my porridge. Um, but yeah, this one is fantastic as taste wise. It just tastes literally just tastes like chocolate So this one comes in chocolate vanilla or unflavored But yeah unflavored's good if you want to put it in savory dishes and stuff like that and yeah It's 26 pound 24 for 900 grams. So it's about 30 servings. So yeah, that's cheap cheerful great stuff um, Move on to the next one next up. I have the perform protein so this one has more going on than the, the Ritual, which is Ritual they just bought out because they wanted a cheaper one and their protein is a bit more expensive. The raw plant protein has branch chain amino acids, which I personally don't think are beneficial, but they can't hurt to have. They have turmeric extract, which is fantastic because that helps with inflammation and muscle recovery and is something I normally have to put in my smoothie. So knowing that it's just in here already kind of takes that element away and it obviously has the black pepper, which makes it a thousand times more effective or 10,000 times more effective when it's combined with black pepper. It's also fermented as well which helps stops with like gas and bloating which you can find off other protein powders yeah i really like this one also has beetroot powder which gives you an absolutely crazy pump when you're working out so that's it yeah this one is more you want to use before or after working out so this one is the akai blueberry and i got this one because my man Simnet Nutrition said it was like his favorite flavor, but I'm sure he says that about every single one when a new one comes out. This is by far the best protein powder I have ever had. Which is fair enough because it is easy to get excited about new flavors, but it definitely wasn't my favorite one. I had salted maca before this one and I preferred salted maca so much more. This one again is good for smoothies. I use it in my porridge or with yogurt because it's like a blueberry flavor, but the salted maca is my favorite by far. I've also tried the raw cacao one and that was good, but not as good as the dark chocolate ritual. Yeah, so that's the Perform. Do really like the Perform ones. These ones are a bit more expensive because they guess they've got more supplements. So this one is $34.99 for the same size as Ritual. So it's eight pound more. By the time you add turmeric and black pepper, the BCAA actually even has freeze dried acai in it. Probably worth that eight pound difference. I just say it kind of, if you're more into, I guess that's why it's called Perform. If you're into more physical fitness, this one is better for recovery. It has more of a recovery element. So things to think about. And then yeah, the third and final one I have is Whole. So this is a more balanced one, like the others are just protein. Whereas with whole, with whole you're getting your carbohydrates and your fats. So the ingredients list for this is pretty hectic, but like such a good list of ingredients. So you're looking at a plant protein blend of fermented yellow pea protein, cold pressed hemp protein, quinoa protein, flaxseed powder, vegetable blend of broccoli, kale, carrot and spinach, MCT powder. So in my opinion, for ingredients is better than Perform because it has pretty much everything Perform has in it, but it also has like vegetables and like B12, other stuff like that in it. So it's like, for me, this is Perform plus nutrition, essential fats, veggies, vitamins, and minerals, what it says on the tin. The same price as Perform, $34.99. The only difference between this one and Perform is this does not have any BCAAs in. I'm very on the fence of BCAAs if they're actually even necessary. I think if you fast, they're effective for preserving muscle, or if you're a serious sports person, I'm not fully convinced that BCAAs are a necessity. So in my opinion, this is the better bang for buck and the more expensive one. I have the caramel biscuit, which sounds delicious. I was disappointed with the taste to start with. It has grown on me. It's not like the caramel maca perform I had. It's definitely got like a green veggie taste to it. Yeah, I've got used to it and I pretty much strictly have it in my smoothies now, which I, I'll chuck in carrots and spinach and stuff like that. So it kind of goes with them. To start with, I put it in like porridge and the porridge went bright green, almost like slime and it did not taste good. It's like a vegetable porridge. Yeah, be aware of that one if you're just gonna buy one. But this is more, in my opinion, like a, a vegetable-y kind of huel one, but it is delicious and you can make it sweet. But yeah, overall, 
Ritual is my favorite, just protein powder, 100%. It's the most delicious, it's the most simple, it has like literally no ingredients in, in it and it tastes delicious. My second favorite will be the whole, but not for taste, but just because what it is. It has replaced my multivitamin now. If you look at the back of the ingredients, it's pretty much a multivitamin and a powder. The Perform, as I say, is good and did really enjoy it, but I think it's not worth the extra money for me, for the BCAs and the Trumic when I can have whole which has more in it. So whole has overtaken the perform for me. I don't think it's worth getting both of them in my opinion. If you've got the money um, and you can get all three, then fantastic. But for me, I, as I don't even really use them that often, I use them as a supplement, I guess. They also have other flavors in the whole, strawberry and vanilla. So next time I may be tempted to try the vanilla, just because I find vanilla is usually quite an inoffensive flavor. Yeah, the caramel biscuit kind of caught me off guard, but it'd be interesting to see what the other flavors taste like but as I say it's probably gonna take me a while to get through these because I'm not a big protein head but yeah if you use those other flavors or you use Vivo Life as well please comment below let me know what you think I'd love to know and last but not least um, I thought I'd just quickly throw in this because I've just got this literally yesterday it's the they actually do coffee now so we've got the Viva Life Magic Ground Coffee with Lion's Mane Mushroom. So it's all organic, fair trade coffee. The Lion's Mane Mushroom is actually supposed to give you cognitive function and like enhance your brain power. To be honest, I've only had it twice and I haven't noticed too much difference. So I don't want to just say yes, I've felt completely different. Not much different to a regular coffee for me, but as I say, it's only been like two days and I have been doing a mung bean diet, which has kind of had me all over the place. So that finished today. So it'd be interesting to see how I feel tomorrow. But yeah, I definitely worth checking out. They have hot chocolate ones as well, which I think I'd be more interested in trying next time. But yeah, I'm gonna keep with this because I'm interested to see yeah, to see if there are any benefits. Maybe if I do feel something or I get the other drinks, I'll do a product review on the drinks as well. And I've also got the creatine, um, which I've only been taking for a week or so, and I'm gonna make a separate video for that because creatine takes two to three weeks to even start working. I wanna document, see if it does work for me, but it tastes fine. It doesn't taste of anything, which is what creatine's supposed to do. It's gonna be it for this video. I just wanted to share my protein knowledge. I know the two most questions I get when people find out I'm vegan is where do you get your protein? And then secondly is what protein powder you use? Yeah, this is my answer. I use Vivo Life. I love the company and the ethics. Um, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed the video. Drop it a like if you found it useful. Subscribe if you're new and I'll see you in the next one.